Boxing King Media in association with Boxer Isaac Klo out here at the Wasserman Show. Isaac, first of all, how are you? I see that you're looking in shape, you're in camp. Uh, how are things for you? Yeah, all good. Been in training now for three or four weeks, back in camp, slowly building. Uh, enjoying life at boxing, enjoying the boxing show. Yeah, good to be back at a live event and just getting the vibe for it again and looking forward to things. Things good. Uh, obvious question, what is next for you Isaac? Because we've seen your name linked with like Jordan Gill, you've had a lot of online beef with him. There's also a Prince Patel as well who, who fights at flyweight, but you guys have had some back and forth. But I'll start with Jordan Gill, because yeah, it seems like... Yeah, talk to one flyweight please. Yeah. Talk to one who's most, who has got a set of bollocks and who is a realist, who is a cantonin. That another lad, I don't know, he's my baby's weight, he wants to fight my baby. Uh, mention Jordan Gill. Jordan Gill, you guys have got some beef. It's been going on for years, back and forth on Twitter. Um, so just talking about Jordan Gill, how realistic is it? Because realistically, he's just coming off a loss, and you know, I, won't, I don't see you rebuilding because you've come back and you've, you know you got yourself back in the game now. So it could happen next. Yeah, the fight can happen, but I'm sure Jordan Gill's moving up to 130. I'm, I'm a 126 fighter, uh, but I think he's coming back at 130. I'm sure he's doing an eight round. I hear him doing an interview. Listen, it won't happen next, uh, maybe it could happen at the back end of the year. Uh, if my team and these teams sit down together, we can make the fight at a sensible weight or 130, one, uh, one by 126 or make it 128 or something, we can, we can make the fight. We wouldn't, the weight's not going to be an issue between me and Jordan, we're not, uh, we're not too scared to catch with each other, so I don't think the weight would make a big, divi uh, big difference. And things was right, uh, yeah, well, I'm happy to take it. You guys ever spied each other? No, but if I did, he definitely wouldn't be fighting me because he'd be knocked out, wouldn't he? I saw Dave Calder make some comments about you. You know, you and Dave had some words exchanged. Uh, what happened? I think it was after a fight uh, recently. Yeah, yeah, listen, it is just building fights, isn't it? Building fights. Uh, so me and Dave had a few words and maybe got, maybe could have got a little bit out of van, but as I said, it is what it is. It's boxing and that's what you do in boxing. Uh, but me and Jordan don't like each other. The, I think everyone knows that. I think he's a dickhead. He probably think I'm a dickhead. I think he's a wanker. He think I'm a wanker. Uh, only one way we can do with each other is get in the ring and punch each other to death. And whoever wins, I'll shake his hand at the end. He can shake my hand and I'll buy him a pint of beer. Or if he doesn't want a pint of beer, I'll buy him a cheeseburger. I do Until then, I'm going to knock the fuck out of him. I love that attitude, Isaac. And the other guy that I mentioned, Prince Patel, it's an odd one. Just trying to explain to fans, because I don't even know when this beef even started. You guys are miles apart when it comes to weight. Where did this even start? Thank you very much. You, you know what I'm going to say. We're miles apart. I, I said the same thing to him when I He's spoke to him. fucking idiot, man. He's four weeks below me. He's been in South Africa, India, wherever he's been, at, fighting some 10 year olds behind closed doors to build his record up. And he's coming back over here and trying to call out, I think he called out Sonny Edwards. Why did you not fight Sonny Edwards? Charlie Edwards. Uh, Dennis McCann wanted to fight him, who was a super bump too, so he would go down to bump and wait and, move, and he can move. He didn't want to do it. But then all of a sudden, he wants to call me out. Never said boo to him, but he wants to, because he's probably hasn't got a penny to scratch his ass with, and he probably thought, oh, I'll get a pay down on the Furies in the car. Like, the only way he can get me is, at the minute in time, well, everyone knows I can't read and write, I'm a gypsy kid, thick as fuck. Whatever comes on my Twitter comes on my Twitter, I don't give a shit. What, is, what goes on there goes on there. And he thinks he can have one over me. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a shit. The thing is, I can't spell, but I can fight, like I've said before. And if he's so serious about fighting, move up to 126 and I think it can really happen. It, take some steroids, build some missiles up, go and do what you need to do, and come and fight a man. You little fucking idiot. Instead of boxing some little kids in, in South Africa somewhere and trying to build your fucking record up, you've never you've never boxed no one over here. You won't fight. You're a fucking imbecile, mate. Backward Phil. I would understand if it was my own way or he had a British title or he had something what I needed of him. He's got fuck all. He needs me. Have you guys ever met face to face? Yes. I went to, I, mate, I was training with Ben Davis. I went to West Ham Boxing Gym, went training. I was only coming back in the gym, and he was been there. So, do you want to do some rounds with Isaac? He was about to spar with some kid, and he, he put his gun shield out, and this is my baby's life. Put his gun shield out, yeah, yeah. Walked out the gym and never come back. And Ben Davis will tell you that, and Billy Smith, uh, Barry Smith will tell you that too. I think Barry Smith was even training at the time. He's a fucking pussy, yo, man. Go and fight Sonny Edwards. Go and fight someone at your own weight, and stop calling someone who's not even in the weight division. You've got nothing. Or go to your local shop and start building, um, 
paying for some fucking fake belts. He's got more belts than fucking the unified champion. He's, he must have 30 fucking plastic belts. What's what's the uh, I some some South African belt or something? What never made? He's must have made it up himself. Fucking film. You know what he is? A fucking YouTube, Instagram in, in spray. That's what he wants to be. Fucking clown. Well, we'll move on from uh, Prince Patel. Um, you mentioned your Twitter there. I was going to say to you, do you control your own Twitter? And I like the fact that you're honest about no, it. You don't, don't, you don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. And what I put on my Twitter, I put on it. If it correct, spells right, spells wrong, whatever it is, it's me. Don't give a flying fuck. I can't read, I can't write, and whatever comes out of my mouth goes. There. Can't say no more. I love that Isaac, I love the honesty and last, lastly just going to quickly mention on uh, Tyson Fury, I see you mentioned another interview, Tyson's got some new goals, he's going to break the masturbation record? Yeah, he, he's uh, obviously now he's, have a, he's got himself a new goal because you sex shit yourself so he's on, uh, I think he's on 25 masturbate today now, he's, that's his, like, he has to get, he's doing that building up a year so uh, that's his goal now. Do you think he could be the, the champion of that because he's good at everything he does? I don't fucking know. If he would be missing sort himself out, would not he? Uh, no, listen, it's, it's a shame about what happened with the fight, and that is what it is. He's, in, he's training, and hopefully, Frank and him get another fight or get another big name and get him back out there as soon as we can. Isaac, you're always entertaining, man. I appreciate your time, brother. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you.